Local 22's Courtney Adelman shows us how Burlington is using an outreach van to reach those most vulnerable. That's right. Health officials with the community health centers of Burlington say this van was a collaboration between the Vermont Department of Health and the Champlain Valley Housing Trust who purchased and loaned the van. It's a big part of our mission to take care of people, no matter what their housing situation, economic situation, walk of life. CHCB's medical director, Dr. Heather Stein, says they needed to come up with a solution to test people who are homeless or don't have a car. The other testing sites that were set up are really doing a great job of meeting most of the needs of the county, and but their model is set up with the assumption that the person getting testing has a vehicle that they can stay in. But for somebody who doesn't have a vehicle or is homeless, it's harder for them to, to use that system. The testing van drives to different locations throughout the Burlington area in need of testing. We are uh, collecting uh, reports and orders from people like, I know this person here, I know that person there, and we'll try to group them so that it makes sense for efficiency. Stein says they are still working out details, but says it's best to test people outside. On Thursday, it was at Harbor Place, which is great because it's actually a motel and each person has their own door. So they were able to park and then go up to each person's door who had already been sort of selected for testing or we knew had a need for testing. And then they're able to have that person come outside. Stein says the tests are provided by the health department. Patients do need an order from a physician or another medical provider like a nurse practitioner or a physician assistant. At the moment, all of our testing sites actually have a medical provider who's doing the testing, so they can either take orders from other staff people or other providers in the area, or they can order it themselves. And Stein says they are not currently billing clients or insurance for the testing service. Reporting in Burlington, Courtney Adelman, Local 22 News.